Could you please start the role play conversation? Thank you. Hello, good morning. Good morning. My name is Banati Charge. I am one of the registered nurses working in the children's department. You seem to be very anxious and worried. What's bothering you? Yeah, I'm just a bit worried because uh, I'm not sure if my child does fully recovered yet. And I know he's ready for discharge, but I'm a bit concerned still. I'm really sorry to hear that you are worried about your child's condition. Before moving further, how may I address you? Yeah, no, just uh, do you think my child is uh, as recovered uh, in fully? Um, based on doctor's assessment, your child is completely recovered from acute meningeal encephalitis. He is ready for discharge now, so you need not to be worried about your child's condition right now. Okay. Could you please tell me in detail, are you aware of vaccination programs? Um, not really. Are there any vaccination available for this? Which kind of vaccination? Yeah, there, yeah, there is available vaccination for certain communicable diseases. Your child has recovering from acute meningitis encephalitis. It is complication of mumps. Mumps is one of the communicable disease which we can prevent from certain vaccinations. You can follow me. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, I'm following you. So, okay, so there are, you know, I'm a bit worried sometimes with this vaccination. What are the advantages and disadvantages for having that? It's a very reasonable question. I'm glad to explain to you in detail. For certain communicable disease, we can give vaccination at birth. After that, we can follow by booster doses. Firstly, uh, are you aware that your baby has vaccinized during birth? Could you um, please tell me in detail? I don't think so because, uh, yeah, I don't think he had. I'm not sure. Uh, you are not sure that your baby is vaccinated or not. Uh, okay. Secondly, do you have any other kids at home? Yeah, I've got another two here old son. And uh, it just um, lived in Australia for uh, six months. Um, you know, I'm always a bit concerned about this vaccination because many people say, say that it can be dangerous. So, yeah, do you think there are any side effects from the vaccine? I can sense your feeling, but you don't worry. You are in the safe hands. You are right now in the hospital. We will give adequate information regarding vaccination program. Um, could you please tell me whether um, those children at home, whether they are vaccinated? I think they have all of the mandatory vaccination, but you know, I'm not, yeah, the, all the mandatory they've got, but I'm not sure about this for moms. I'm, I don't think they got actually so. okay based on your explanation i can understand that your children is not vaccinated till now so don't worry here in a hospital or many free health clinics is available to provide vaccination for certain communicable diseases now we can start as a booster dose is that clear for you okay that's yeah this is clear do you think there are any side effects yeah, for all the vaccination, there is minor side effects like fever and generalized body pain. It's normal because vaccination is given to protect uh, body against certain communicable diseases. Communicable diseases available in all over the world as well as it is produced in the air as well. So to prevent the child from the birth, we are giving the vaccination. So it is necessary for your babies to start the vaccination right now. Okay. Is that clear um, for you? Yeah, I understand this, you know, it's a bit worrying me, but yeah, I understand uh, your explanation. But you may not to worry right now because as I told you, it's a complication. Your child has developed complication of one of the communicable disease. Now mm -hmm. we can prevent with the help of vaccinations. However, okay. we have uh, developed uh, 
medicines in our uh, technology but you don't worry we have minor side effects on it like as i told you earlier body pain sometimes the child will develop uh, rashes like that if the baby has developed an uh, increase in the temperature or they show any abnormal conditions immediately you can seek medical intervention so i strongly recommend you that you can vaccinate the baby as soon as possible it is free of cost available in all the government schools and free health clinic centers okay okay it's free, so free. It's free okay i understand okay so okay ma'am you can Yeah, thank you for uh, all uh, your explanation. Uh, I think uh, I will let my child have the vaccine. Okay, I will provide the leaflets which contain all the information regarding vaccination schedule according to the age wise. It will help people for you. Do you have any other questions or concerns? Uh, yeah, no, at the moment. Yeah, I think uh, the um, the leaflet will be very really helpful for me. So at least I can read. Uh, all the information thank you so much thank you for listening to me your child is ready for this yes i hope you will uh, vaccinate your children as soon as possible thank you thank you take care all right uh, vanathi um you have done a good job i'm very happy with the way that you have handled you know this uh, patient okay let me give you the feedback first before okay. i give you the score okay All right. The first thing is you were polite and calm throughout the role play conversation. That's good. Very happy with that. Your introduction was amazing. So you are able to sense the you know the patient uh, that the patient has been. worried and then you were able to introduce you know these things very well that's good but um there were many grammatical mistakes okay that you have committed and they should have been avoided okay all right um let's let's give uh, let's go through those things okay so you have mentioned one of the communicable disease which means that's wrong you have to use one of the communicable diseases all right okay you should use okay. diseases all right it should be because after one of you have to use the plural noun only so after one okay. of all right one amongst okay and then one among you have to use a plural noun only you can't use a singular noun okay. that is wrong okay. it's a grammatical mistake okay? okay you have given freedom for the interlocutor to share her opinion and thoughts which is good i'm very happy with that okay that's a good thing you have also <coughs> encouraged you know the interlocutor to take part in the conversation actively so that's good and the other thing is um okay your pronunciation is good enough i'm happy with the the way that you have pronounced the words that's good enough speech rate is all right you could have used more connecting phrases that is one thing i would like to ask you all right more connecting phrases and um, yeah so your reassurance phrases were good enough i'm happy with the way that you have you know used them Yeah, so I'm happy with that. That's all right. And then, um, what else? There are other grammatical mistakes. Okay, I'll tell you them. So you can follow me. So you shouldn't use this. You should say, "Are you able to follow me?" Because you are asking okay. questions, you know, to the to the candidate, you know, to the um, interlocutor. So you should ask them, "Are you able to follow me?" Or could you please? Or okay. could you follow me? Or can you follow me? And so on. Okay. and then the next one is again certain communicable disease that's wrong you should use a plural oh, okay, noun after them so you oh, should say certain okay. communicable diseases because it's a it's a plural <laughs> noun so you should say 
certain communicable diseases. Right? That's what you got to do. And then you said, um, okay, those children at home, whether they, okay, those children at home, whether they are vaccinated, this is wrong. So you should say whether those children at home are vaccinated. Okay, whether those children at home are vaccinated, okay, or not. So you could have used it. All right. Okay. And then is that clear? Okay, that's good. You know, you 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 were able to use that. That's fine. And there is minor side effects. Okay. So you said there is minor side effects. This is wrong. There are there are minor side effects. Okay, so you should use there are minor side effects. All right. Okay. And then the next one is uh, in all over the world. In all over the, the world. Okay, it's wrong. You should say all over the world. That's it. You don't need to use in all over the world. In all over the world. All right. Okay. Um, prevent the child from birth. This is wrong. One of the sentences you have, you know, produced is like prevent the child from birth. Okay, prevent the child from getting infection or you know something like that so this is but prevent the child from birth is incorrect isn't it uh, prevent the infection from childhood only is the... no no you didn't say that no no you have mentioned to prevent the child from birth ah uh, yeah because i went to i have to tell that prevent the infection from, child from infections okay prevent the child uh, prevent the infections no no it's this is correct prevent the child from infections that's correct okay, okay. All right, and then the next one is you need not be worried. That's uh, you need not be worried. You need not be worried. Okay, you should say you should not be worried, or you you don't need to be worried. You don't need to be worried. Okay, that's the next one. And then you have repeated like that many times. Repeated many times, and it should it should have been avoided. Okay, unnecessarily. And then you said it will helpful. It will helpful. All right, you should say it will be helpful. Okay, that's what you should have used. Okay. okay. But apart from that, it is okay. I mean, there is it's it's only the grammatical mistakes. Okay, that I can find out. And uh, apart from that, it's all okay. You have used some connecting phrases. You know, it's, they are up to the mark. And uh, I'm happy to give you, you know, 350 for this one. You should be able to get 350 for this one in spite of these uh, many grammatical mistakes. Yeah. Because you are able to you know, <clears throat> establish um, good rapport with the patient, you are able to address the concerns as well. So everything else sounds good to me. And as a result, I would like to give you 350 out of 500 for this role play conversation. <laughs>